Hello engineers, kaise ho aap sab? Hopefully you are well. I am also fine. So today we are going to discuss about the Adobe interview. This is most about the Adobe product based organization. You know, when I was student, student and the college going student, it was my dream organization. So now already I have faced the interview in this organization and I got a chance to in the all the clear the all rounds. So that's why I am sharing with you. So first we will go with the how we have applied, how we get called, call and total number of experience and what kind of question they ask or how number of how how many number of the rounds they will schedule. All those things we will discuss right now. Okay, so let's get started. So it, this video role for the SDET or SE profile or software engineer. This is not a software. Some of the organization hire the SDET or QA in the same position, but it is uh, oriented the SDET engineer or automation engineer. And the total number of experience the three year to to five year or six year. This is the range which we have uh, attended the interview. And I have applied it with the LinkedIn at the Adobe career also. And uh, the both places I have applied. Even I was continuously focusing last six months. Ki I want to attend this organization interview. That's why I uh, applied from the LinkedIn also as well as the Adobe. So from both sided, I got a call. Come to the first of all, whenever you are targeting. First of all, I just want to tip here. This tip is for you guys. Uh, if you are applying, you are targeting. You should be aware which the kind of organization you want to join. So you you have need to create the four, five or five to ten companies where you want to Switch or you set the list with this kind of the companies you want to switch like uh, Cognizant, TCS, XYZ. Come to this is a service based organization. If you are looking for the product based, then the Adobe, Microsoft, Google, um, Amazon, Flipkart, uh, Blinkit, uh, Gemato. There are so many product based organizations you can list out and figure out what kind of the they are, what kind of the candidate they are looking and what kind of the resume we have need to create. You can figure out uh, overall. Not I will not tell you okay, you need to focus on the um, interview only. You have need to prepare for the basic things like resume. What the kind of skills here they are looking? What kind of things they are expecting to integrate? All come to the second point, guys. This is the uh, first round. There is the assessment. Then I uh, when I have attended the Adobe interview, there is no assessment right now. They just directly switch with the first round. Um, first round. But I remember when I attended one year back. Then they I have uh, I have attempted the one round assessment coding count, uh, count that contain the coding question and the some of the MCQ question. Coding questions related to the data structure and Java OOPs related and the some of the MCQ questions. MCQ related to QA process, Agile process. That was a pretty simple questions. I don't think so. That is much much uh, complex, very moderate kind of questions as well as you should be where the coding side okay once you clear your coding so i will refer please watch my whole all the java selenium uh, java selenium course uh, which i have uploaded on the udemy uh, you'd mean that is uh, will helpful for the uh, product based organization that will helpful for to crack the interview for the product base as well as the uh, service base it will easy because in the all videos i am telling the interview tips and interview questions also because you know so far i have attended 45 interviews it's not mean i'm going to switch it's the mean i'm getting a lot of questions or a lot of the experience what kind of the questions they ask what the expectation they are continuously uh, expecting to candidate so i'm please watch my all videos from udemy as well as the youtube it will help you a lot while the preparing for the switch if you have any question query, so you can mail as that uh, academy at the rate gmail.com. I my our team will help out on the same revert on the same. Go to the next. Next first is the technical round. Yeah, I remember I had an interview with the lead. He was the lead on that uh, team and he asked a question from the Selenium starting from the Java with the Selenium. First of all, they ask a question from the framework. Uh, what kind of framework you are using and they switch on the Java Java questions like our section, static keyword, in Cambo exception and the file handling. Also, they ask in that interview. Uh, they ask question one back to back like they're starting from the Java. Then they switch to the coding. Uh, no, uh, they starting from the Java like encapsulation exception are not a, they, are, they were not expecting i'm answering in the definition term they expecting i should answer in the framework level if i'm explaining try exception so they should be expecting how i'm handling or where i have handled the try guys i will tell you an example let's suppose i'm verifying the functionality of the download functionality in my framework or in my code so where we are using try catch that there i have a need to use the try catch that is the same uh, so they are expecting that I should answer with the real time examples. So before to attend Adobe or any product based organization, second round or third round, you should be aware. Um, whatever you are telling uh, in the Java, whatever you are telling in any programming language, you should be aware in the real time experience. You should be able to write a code on the same. So they, that was a oops. Then come to interface our section collection. That was a very, very important uh, um, question. They ask about the list where you have implemented list, how you can implement the list. So that is very simple. I will tell you list. Let's suppose you have a one table. Let's suppose there is the one functionality is the filter on your website on your project so how where you will implement that moment you have need to use list because before to filter data you have need to store the data of the uh, table then after the uh, after you use the filter then then you have need to store the data then you will compare the both table data or both the lists then you can identify you can use the assertion that both table are different then that means that we are performing a test case where we are checking the filter is working or not how we can check we have need to actual data after the applying the filter then you have need to after um, uh, data 
then you will compare the both. In that case, we can use the list. Set, set is what there is no indexing. We will store the data. There is no near value is um, stored. Map, map, there is also one is the key or value. Then we can store, we can uh, store multiple duplicate values, but there is not support the null key. Okay, so this is the very important things and when where you use most of the point most important thing they ask back to back why you are using there is an, another alternative way if you have you haven't worked on the framework so might be it will feel a little complex that interview but I will tell you if you have worked on the framework definitely that will very simple so map uh, whenever you want to store any value name username password or uh, whatever the, the value you have uh, you create in the framework you want to store the somewhere you will use the same value somewhere another step so you will use map with the and with the help of the key you will store that value then you will use the same value in the somewhere so you can use the map collection also third safe synchronization some of the time is our test cases failing so synchronization very very helpful bait uh implicit bait explicit bait fluent bait so what weight frequently you are using in your framework which uh, weight is most uh, powerful or uh, this is the framework you are implementing this is the um, weight you are uh, implementing in your framework kind of the question right and uh, might be they ask uh, they will give you they i think i remember they give me one uh, coding question ki go to the adobe side and uh, check the and print the sorry check the footer link is up for click on the footer link or click or not it's up to you click the footer link and check it is uh, open or not like mainly we have need to check the status if we are getting 400 status that means it is not working if we are getting the uh, not getting the 400 uh, more than that is the server error or less than that is the uh, that is uh, another error so we are checked to it is if link is working or not this is the question i have faced in the second round so if before the attend any product based organization you should be aware of the oops interface collection thread i will tell you the more conclusion conclusion of the second round mm, java and knowledge of the advanced coding as framework and one more thing i will tell you if you are aware are you if you go through our udemy uh, udemy chain udemy course I have covered all the things. Cover all. Yes. Come to the third. Advanced technical that was with manager and they are continuously asking related to framework. Uh, test ng j unit life cycle sql debugging real time issues and uh, how you are debug your code what is the right approach is let's suppose you have a one feature how you will figure out key Mm, um, we have need to develop right now or the later this kind of very analytical question I face in the technical not not uh, more kind of the related to framework they expecting the question in the manager round or the manager not in second round third round but third round uh, like test ng how you have the you are where you are using the test ng and what is the life cycle of the test ng api testing the basic api testing sql where you are where you are using the sql query one of the query that is very very uh, common uh, find out the second largest find out the second largest of uh, salary of the employee this is very very basic question guys i remember that this is the same question asked by the someone also i'm not sure which the interviewer asked the same question but it's a very basic question you can search over the google and will find the answer also so you should be aware about the more api okay so uh, you can see in the same kind of the topic which we have covered in our youtube channel you can go through that and uh, if you feel good so you can comment it will be good for us and related to sql you should be aware of sql query join create table delete table update table and uh, there are so many uh, basic uh, SQL should be aware because in the framework uh, i have implemented uh, using the verification from the SQL database then uh, I'm using the basic basic queries not as such you should be aware of the advanced level also but at the interview level uh, if you don't have a basic knowledge also don't have a basic knowledge then you can go through the basic thing first once you feel you are good with the basic then you go to the next step like uh, inner join outer join or um, all kind of the join you should be aware then more than that then more than that like that so next is the debugging how you debug your code so first of all you go with the, your code if there is any function issue anything else then go with the x path is all are correct then we have need to check there is any bait visibility kind of the issue so there is the four or five step you go with the debugging so you can explain in own way if i talk about myself how i debug my prayer code so first of all already i have better tell you um uh, like uh, first of all i check my code what is the exact no 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 first of all i check the build where the which the line number is test case is failing then check what the error we are getting if i check the 
there is this very common common or is simple simple error like visibility not visible element is not visible the yeah, time out exception this is very simple as read the exception read the error then we understand okay time uh, time out exception like the application is little slow uh, we have need to wait more time then visibility uh, of element element not visible that is very simple ki element not it been is not displayed on the ui then element not found might be xpath issue or uh, there is the very in one of the in one of the interact some of the one of the error also which i face frequently that is error is related to uh, might be the uh, x path the uh, element is not we are not able to interact with that element that is also one the issue so if we are understanding with the error that is fine otherwise no so we check one by one the step then uh, for then otherwise we check the function we check x path and we check uh, once i check uh, we run the same step on the uh, script first i try all the these things without the run code then which uh, next point we have need to run uh, that test case again and see the ui constant continuously where the step is failing then might be some of the time is over after a while the observing the test case then we find out the oh this is the error we have need to use wait we have need to check the xpath or we have need to what exactly whatever the we observe while the script is running then we take the fix accordingly this is the point and cause name is next is the many many area and behavior around this is with the qa uh, director might be will be the any respective one so they will ask they will think about your analytics or qa process more and about the qa process uh, real time and ownership of your work how you have a complex your work and uh, how you take any ownership of any task and uh, let's suppose uh, your release is going on the weekend so how you will work how you will handle the work and uh, how you will set your prioritize and write tight deadlines explanation one and end project own there is the very basic basic questions they expect to you and if you are good or analytic in skills and you are very diplomatic personality you can handle to be honest i'm not uh, telling very wrong inform i'm not telling wrong information but yeah uh, i'm very honest about if you are really diplomatic so you are very good with the manager around because you don't need to showcase what you are you have need to give you are same as their expectation that's it next is the hr discussion that is very 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 important guys related to you said the expectation notice period i'm not thinking so we have need to waste time on the notice period you can skip that relocation and work from home your preference and they will ask why you want to switch so you have need to answer very diplomatic on the same no one tell you guys because why i have need to so right thing to hr why there is no question ha huh? uh, we don't need to uh, answer very clearly or very straight forward uh, i'm not saying a very straight forward but i i will tell you uh, why i want to say my real thing to hr i will tell you why i am looking for the new opportunity and i just want to explore new things in my career that's why i am looking forward very simple way you can tell them don't think so say uh, anything i will suggest as in my experience i will tell you answer very diplomatic salary expectation very serious about the salary expectation guys uh, because salary Uh, is your part of the you know what is your value uh, so you should be because one thing i will tell you guys this thing i have uh, uh, while my career i have missed this thing so i you know i remember uh, i lost 2 3 lakh rupees uh, while the discussion gap like 2 lakh i think 4 lakh uh, lakh rupees was uh, miss i can consider because uh, while the discussion i expect some numbers but they offer me some less numbers but i didn't check clearly that number on the page and i didn't check calculate that number on the uh, salary breakdown part i just see okay whatever you have discussed that will you will you will give me right this is the standard pay but they give me less than that after the accept and after two three days i back to hr ki no in hr discussion they mention ki you will give me this number but you gave me th- uh, this number so they tell me immediately you should be escalate this is now you have completed five days in our organization we can't change anything so this is my experience guys don't be go any fast be patient so be peaceful be calm full before to accept any offer letter please calculate your salary breakdown please check your uh, whatever you have discussed in the salary past chart discussion please check that is that should be over the paper if not so clear clear that should be clear on the same time not wait for the next day or second day okay guys uh, yeah that is from my side uh, happy journey thank you if you are that video is helpful for you please uh, comment and like share subscribe this channel uh, yeah and uh, this is the uh, tech tech and comal tech can simplify please subscribe this channel like and if you feel this video this channel is helpful please comment that will help you uh, for uh, help you for years as well as if you are looking for the more information already i have launched the one course on the udemy related to java with selenia so you can watch that i will give you link in the description of the course you can check out that thank you so much like say subscribe and comment also